All right, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims. And just for convenience sake, I am going to just delete Mortimer. I'm just, I don't want him in my house. He is rude. <laughs> he is making my life miserable. Uh, Pixie, I'm going to wake her up actually. And I think she may have a treat on her. No, but she does have a stuffed toy. Well, let's go back into Magic Town. That way, we can buy some treats for our dragon. And that way, he'll stop eating all our flowers in our garden. <laughs> Let's just buy a whole bunch of treats. As many as we possibly can. So, here we go. Uh, treats, treats, treats. How many magic coins do we have left? Oh, we have eight. Okay, well, we're going to have to perform some magic tricks if we want to be able to do this. And also, I guess since we're here, um, we should be able to perform the totification spell. I realized randomly when I was here that I could actually perform the totification on random people. Just, I guess, certain spells you can't perform at Magic Town, I guess. Like, for instance, Banish. I could not perform Banish at all. Okay, that's plenty of Magic Coins. Uh, so let's just go get a whole bunch of Dragon Treats. So that we can keep our purple dragon really happy, hopefully. <laughs> and we won't have a repeat of what happened last time, I hope. <laughs> now, let's greet a sim. Okay, let's greet Jackie if we can. I know for a fact she does not have a magic wand. Someone just peed themselves. And we will cast Tetification on her. It should work. Yep. <laughs> let's see, can we kiss her? I'm not sure if we have the option to kiss the toads r randomly. I guess not. Okay. So it must be with certain toads that you can do that interaction with. Now, I assume that the random people that come to Magic Town probably have magic wands. I assume she has a magic wand. So let's try the toadification. What is happening over here? This is gross. This out house is just all kinds of bad. All right, so yeah, she does. So I just wanted to show what happens in reverse when someone else has a um, magic wand. What is happening? Oh my God, the puddle is just growing. So we're just here. <laughs> all right, hopefully we'll grow up or grow up, turn back into a regular sim soon, maybe. I don't know, finally, there we go. <laughs> so we have returned and oh yeah, that's right. They want to cook. <laughs> fine. Actually, no, this is fine. If they can't cook, they'll just have a salad instantly. That's a perfect alternative. I don't mind that at all. <laughs> now, where's our dragon? Where is our dragon? Hmm. Where did he go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Okay, there you are. Uh, we're going to go give you a treat as well as a toy. There you go. There you go, little buddy. Hopefully that'll hold you off for a little while. Alrighty. Well, oh, no, come back, come back. We want to groom and tickle you a whole bunch to see if it will drop more tears or scales. That way the children can use it. And apparently, yeah, to get toadstools, like, you just have to have your sim sit on the toadstool, like, a whole bunch of times. And I guess you just have to be patient. Let me make sure I did purchase the right one. I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, this is it. So let's put these kind of separate of each other. And we'll cue Sabrina to sit on this one a whole bunch. And then we'll cue Kyle to sit on this one a whole bunch. Which is like a really weird thing for them to be doing. But I'm kind of just hoping that will make some toadstool spawn to the next of it. So let's see. I thought for a moment something dropped, but it didn't. Oh my god, torch, please. Do we have to actually be like on our lot in order for it to drop it? Let's see. Because, you know, like, we're on the street, technically. Let's keep grooming him. Actually, he may be going back to bed. Is he gonna... Yeah, he's going back to sleep. All right, well, in the meantime, we'll just wait for him right here. And we'll try to get some toadstools. Hey, where'd you guys go? See, the problem is they don't like to sit on these toadstools for that long. And, like, they just... It's very frustrating. Because <laughs> I just want them to get toadstools. And nope. Actually, what if we take, this is dangerous, but we're going to take free will off. And hopefully they'll just keep sitting there, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. 
Um, we'll have to wait and see if anything actually does appear. Okay, the dragon is awake. Let's give him another treat. I'm not sure if that's like too soon or not, but we'll keep grooming and tickling him to try to get some ingredients. Okay, nothing has spawned just yet. This is a very exciting gameplay. <laughs> I wonder if we have... Um, oh my god, it's because of the chew toy that... Really? You'll run over our bills, but you won't run over a chew toy? Like, what is wrong with you? We have more mail. Okay, here we go. Oh, good! So we got more scales right here. We'll go add this into our inventory. So now we have two dragon scales. Uh, what I'll probably do is off screen I'll have Pixie or someone interact with the dragon a whole bunch and just stock up a whole bunch on dragon ingredients because I don't really think it's necessary for us to show our sims playing with our dragon that much just to get ingredients when we could be doing more interesting things. So, you know, here we have Torch. It's cool. We'll go pet him. He deserves some pets for the skills that he's given us. So here you go, little buddy. Let's pet you. And there you go. <laughs> Hopefully he's a lot more well-behaved than Bernie was. <laughs> now, as for Pixie, let's see what new spell we can make today. At least these two sims are sitting down. Oh, she's getting up. Okay, fine. Let Josephine have a turn. <laughs> Such a weird thing for having our sims do, but hey, I want it to happen. So wow, we made all the spells on the first page. All right, now let's try to make this what well, we need toadstools. Okay, we need toadstools and pixie dust. That's fine. And oh, we also need a rubber chicken. We need to barter with someone to get this. And then the diamond dust has a very expensive ingredient, so maybe we won't do that. Sands of time. Did we buy that? I think we did, didn't we? I want to say we did. Yeah, here's Sands of Time. So that required two things of beeswax. So let's go do that right now. Now let's keep doing this. Oh, okay. Sit. Um, no toadstools yet. <laughs> Why does life hate us so much? I will never know. Oh, there's some right here. Look. Oh my, wait, no, 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 no. Don't touch those. Don't touch those. Don't touch those. Don't touch those. Do not touch those. Why did they spawn over here though? Whatever, go harvest these toadstools. Okay, they showed up for some reason. So this is another thing, like these toadstools take forever to show up and I don't wanna bore you guys with having to watch my sim sit on them so much. So like, I think the next time prior to recording, I'm just gonna stock up on a whole bunch of ingredients for the children and then we'll do like one or two um, per part, maybe two per part actually, so that we get through it relatively fast. Um, and that way it will be hopefully more enjoyable to watch. So let's save now that we got this. And Pixie, let's see, we got the beeswax and Sands of Time. So I think it was two things of beeswax and one thing of Sands of Time. Let me just verify that that was it. Nope, that was not it. We also need a Pegasus Feather which we do not have. Oh, just kidding. Okay, this was another ingredient. So two things of beeswax and sands of time, just like I thought. Okay, so we have sands of time, beeswax. There we go. And what do we have this time? We have made the shed your skin charm. That sounds gross. <laughs> so let's go find out what this is all about. Oh, hey, butler. What are you doing here? Go away. <laughs> so shed your skin, huh? Let's read the description of this before we go deciding to use it blindly so we get an idea of what it does. Did the butler summon? Okay, no, I thought for a moment that Josephine was a wisp. I thought that the butler used a charm. I was like, what? <laughs> okay, now, right, what did we just make? Here we go, shed your skin. So ghosts got you down? Well, they're probably there to stay. So, as they say, if you can't beat them, join them. Wriggle out of your skin and turn into a green world where walls don't matter and spooking silly sims is all the fun you need. It says, be careful not to cast this uh, spell directly in sunlight. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think that if we do this right, our sim will temporarily become a ghost. So let's go cast this charm. Actually, you know what? 
uh, let's have someone else do this. Sabrina, Sabrina, you have not cast a charm in a little while. So we'll have you go downstairs and oh God, everything is just getting broken around here, which is just terrible. And we will have her become a ghost. And then we'll also have her cast it in direct sunlight and we'll see what that's all about. Now, hopefully this is successful and look at that. She is a ghost now, holy crap. So she should be able to walk through walls and stuff. But she opted to use the door. That's boring. Oh god, she is running. Can we scare her? Let's see. Entertain, dance, compliment. I guess not. What about Jack? Well, they're asleep. And once again, not using their correct beds. But whatever, it's fine. Um, okay. Maybe there are some other interactions and I just don't realize what they are, but it's just kind of cool that you can temporarily become a ghost. So we'll have to do it again though, definitely in the nighttime when, or I'm sorry, in the daytime, because apparently something will happen with that. <laughs> We're just having Sabrina run around like a madman and... Oh, there she goes. Okay, she's like running through the stairs and stuff. That's pretty convenient. <laughs> now, let's look at the spell book yet again. Let's see if we can make anything with wizard eyelashes that we haven't made yet. Because that would be pretty awesome. Let's see. So, we have Tentification, Beauty for Your Beast, Relationship Boost, Horn of Plenty. This is an unknown spell. Um, oh, but we had someone else take the stools. Get happy, dish wish. Da, 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 da. Okay, how about this? We need toad sweat, garlic, and honey. So we got the garlic from Vicky from the quest. And then we need some dragon scales, llama spit, and beeswax for some other ones. We do have a four leaf clover. We do have magic beans, and we can get golden thread. So let's make this one. Okay, now we just need to get some golden thread. That is easy. Let's go spin some thread in the meantime. And we need to add magic beans. Alrighty. And then we'll add the... Oh god, what, 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 what? What did he do? He, what did he do? He's fine. Like, why did you play that scary music? It's okay. He's just a repairman. My goodness, game. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. We have golden thread. No, what was the final ingredient again? God, I lost my train of thought after that guy played that scary music for no reason. Oh my god, why does the game hate us? Alright, the four leaf clover, which I believe... Don't we have one? I thought we had one. Yeah, okay, Jack has it. So we'll go add the four leaf clover. Oh, we also do have the rubber chicken, so that's cool. And... Where is Sabrina? There you are. Let's add the golden thread as well. So, all right, there we go. Now I'll make this charm, and it is the perfect garden charm. Ooh, all right. Oh god, there's all these mice and stuff. Why? <laughs> go away. <laughs> so let's read about this first before anything else. Oh, was uh, I think Salem was playing with the dragon. I think so. They are. They're like totally chasing each other and stuff. It's adorable. <laughs> Salem has a friend now. Good. <laughs> now let's read up on this. I assume that this would make our garden magically bloom. If everyone used this charm, there wouldn't be any need for gardeners. Don't tell them that though. So because our dragon has been, you know, just nomming away on a whole bunch of our yellow flowers here, I wonder if we buy a whole bunch of these, will these like magically bloom after we use the spell? Hmm. I guess it's worth a shot, right? And if not, then whatever. We just have a whole bunch of flowers that will soon be bloomed. And like I was saying, the dragons do eat these flowers, so that way he can eat food when we don't have treats or I just forget to give him one which will probably be pretty frequently so let's just stock up on like a whole bunch and let's see if this will be successful or not so let's go cast the perfect garden charm and here we go let's listen to the sound effect let's look at the garden there it is 
Ooh, fancy! <laughs> a whole bunch of clouds going everywhere. Cool. Look at that. Oh my god, this is like a cooking spell for our dragon. Alright, I think that uh, <laughs> Torch will be pleasantly surprised that he has a field of food at his disposal. Who wouldn't be happy about that? That is so cool. <laughs> very, very awesome. Alright, now, ooh, it is daytime. So, we'll have Kyle go over here and we want to cast the Shed Your Skin thing and direct daylight. Maybe let's wait a little bit longer until... It is more of the daytime. There we go. The sun is really out now, so I don't know if that actually matters or not. So let's go cast this in direct sunlight. And let's see what happens when it fails. I don't want my garden to fail just yet since we just did it successfully. <laughs> but okay, something's happening. Oh my god, we have a lot of snakes. <laughs> well, that's slightly terrifying. Uh... Panic. <laughs> so your sims will panic about the snakes everywhere. Ooh, there are some eyeballs coming out of that tree. Neat. <laughs> and I think Sabrina is going to freak out about him too. So that's pretty much what's happening right now. <laughs> well, we have a whole bunch of snakes just roaming around on our home lot. <laughs> so that's pretty neat, I suppose. Now... Come on, children, go to school. Fantastic. Um, I wonder how long will these little dudes stay around? I'm not really too sure. But look, Torch is just having a buffet. He's going around eating all of the yellow flowers on our lot. <laughs> and I think that snakes have left. Oh, just kidding, they're still around here. My god, are they gonna disappear soon on their own? Hopefully. Do we need to call animal control? <laughs> I think we'll be okay, hopefully. All right, now. <laughs> oh, right, the children are at school. Uh, maybe with the ingredients we have, the, to the two dragon scales and toad tools, we can make a spell. Actually, I think that's a spell to age up our sims, but I don't want to age up um, Jack or what's her face, Josephine, just yet. But man, they're just freaking out constantly about all of this stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, also I need to recreate um, a gnome because the other one died. <laughs> it came into flames thanks to Mortimer. And we need to do this for when we eventually create the enchant spell again. So we'll place this right there. Alrighty. And where is... So let's fast forward time for our kids to come home from school. And then we'll see maybe if there's another spell that we can make with the dragon scales that we have not made. In fact, okay, so we have toadstools and dragon scales. Now we can make this spell right here. So it requires toadstools, dragon scales, and fairy dust. All right, so fairy dust is pretty easy to obtain. We just have to play with the fairies up here for a little bit. Someone fell asleep, not sure who, not too worried about it. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of mice everywhere. Okay, thank you. So this has been left here. Now we just add one of each. So we will add the fairy dust, toadstools, and dragon scales. There we go. Wonderful. Now let's have Josephine go and create her first magic spell. That way everybody gets a turn. There she goes. Okay. Uh, let's see, will this be a spell or a charm? Oh, this is just that same spell uh, that we showed off earlier, actually, with Jack. And we're going to show it off with him again. So we'll have Josephine cast this. So a lot of the, or a handful of the spells from the junior one or whatever is like, you know, basically kid version of the adult ones. But I think there are some specific ones for just children. Like, for instance, the growing up one would be just for kids, so... Oh well. I was kind of hoping for a more exciting spell, but... Oh god, there's some poop over here! Because we don't have a litter box. Not Salem's Fly, I completely forgot to buy one of those. <laughs> uh, but like I said, I will definitely get our Sims, our kids, a whole bunch of ingredients off screen, because they seem 
to be really boring to obtain, unlike the adults where you do some questing. Um, we'll continue. Oh, it was Pixie that actually fell asleep. <laughs> we'll continue to keep making some spells. Actually, I'm kind of curious. I want to see how many spells we have left to make. So we have Totification, Beauty or Beast, Relationship Boost, Hunter Plenty. Okay, unknown spells. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten unknown spells for the adults. Now for the kids, we have a whole bunch. So let's see. So one, two, okay, that's five, six. Okay, so we have six spells to show off with the kids and then 10 with the adults. So what I'm going to do is no matter what, show off two spells in the upcoming parts for the kids and the adults. That way in the next five parts, we will get a glimpse of all the spells. I may not be able to show them all off um, with both their successful ones and negative ones. And oh my God, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening? Why? What? Okay. She, Sabrina's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I guess that's the way that Pixie's telling Sabrina to go into her own room, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, I may not be able to show off the successful and failures of all the charms and spells as I'm making them, but at like the very end of this let's play, I'll do like a little compilation of all of the spells and their outcomes. And then after we're finished exploring all of the spells and charms, there's still other stuff to do. So like I said, as we keep doing spells and charms and stuff on this lot more growths will grow around this area um, we'll be able to show off the different ones there's also a beanstalk that we can plant and go up there's still things in magic town we can do like just going on roller coasters and having our sims just visit just for fun and not necessarily doing quests so we have a lot to look forward to definitely and then um this let's play is getting pretty close to its end though. So after I'm done with the making magic expansion pack, that's going to be basically the end for this series. I have been having a lot of fun with it, but yeah, you know, it must come to an end eventually. So anyways, that's what I have planned and that is all for now and I'll see you all next time.